Throwdown lovers, welcome back to yet another episode of The Throwdown, Miss Mandy Throwdown. And today we're going to be making beef short ribs. As per the usual, I have been teasing you with this recipe on my Insta stories. And the thing is this, everyone's been asking me, which wine have you been using and can you please share this recipe? That is my task here today, to show you guys a recipe. If you're looking for that comfort food, or if you're looking to really entertain and show people the layers of flavor while delivering some really good tender meat, this is that recipe. I would even recommend that this is the recipe you need to use for a date night. I'm just saying, it needs hours of cooking. However, the prep that you put in is going to guarantee you some really good results. So let's start things off by um, sharing with you the ingredients. We're gonna be using some garlic. We're gonna be using one whole onion that I have sliced. We're gonna go ahead and have some rosemary. I think we're gonna use about three to four sprigs. We have uh, two bay leaves as well. And we have some vegetable stock, or rather chicken stock. Um, but you can still use vegetable stock. You guys know I have a video on this. Uh, I will link it down below. Also, we're gonna be using some dry, red wine. That is what you need to be using. If the cheaper the bottle, the better, but just don't go for the box stuff. But we're going to be using some dry red wine. Now we're going to um, be using beef short ribs that I got from Santos. And these were uh, 450 baht. Yes, that's the best part about beef short ribs. You get a lot of meat and it's a cheaper cut. However, what you get out of it is absolutely sensational. So you can get uh, a kilo for 450 bob. I've gone ahead to already cut a little piece or a little chuck right here, a rib off. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna cut it. Of course, you're gonna try to avoid to cut where the bone is. However, there you go, one little piece. Now, one other thing that I did ask uh, Santos and them to do was to remove the membrane. So one side doesn't have it, which is fine, but I usually remove the top membrane. And the major reason why I do that is because you know that hard layer of meat that you always chew into? Yeah, that's usually not a mood. So I usually take that off. Now, one other tip that I'd like to share with you guys is the major reason why I like this cut of meat is you can use this for your meal prep, right? If you made a lot of rice, you can set aside two beef ribs, you know, with a little bit of rice and some other vegetable or sweet potato or mashed potato, whatever it is you prefer on the side. Now that we have them all cut, we're gonna sprinkle on them some salt and some black pepper, and then we're gonna get ready to sear them really, really well um, in order to lock in some flavor, and then we're gonna build on top of that flavor. Now there's various ways of making your beef short ribs. Uh, there's people who sometimes put flour onto them, like all purpose flour, that still works as well. However, I've just been liking it super simple, which is with some salt and some black pepper, and then we just go ahead to sear it. And then we, of course, begin to braise the meat. I've ensured to cover both sides with salt and pepper and rub it in as well. And now let's head on over to the stove in order to begin searing the meat. We're gonna start things off with half a tablespoon of some cooking oil in here. Remember, your short ribs already are fatty. You're definitely gonna try to not put a lot of oil. So once the oil gets hot, we're gonna be placing in our short ribs. And remember, the first pot that you're gonna use to cook this meal is the same pot that you're gonna cook everything in. So you can't start switching pots midway. Uh-uh, you gotta stick to it. Like, commit the whole way. So it's been about, what, two minutes. I've just flipped them over and they've already browned to the color I really like. Mm -hmm. 
So you're gonna try to make sure to brown all of the sides of this meat. And remember we're doing this on very high heat as well. So now that all of our meat has browned, we're gonna take it out. Just gonna place it aside. We're going to be placing in our onions. At this point, we just wanna cook our onions until they're like semi-soft. Just gonna add in just a little hint of oil because remember the beef ribs are already um, quite fatty. So onions are super soft, we're gonna be adding in, or semi-soft rather, we're gonna be adding in our garlic. So we added in the garlic and let it cook for like 20 seconds and then now we're gonna be adding in back our meat. For the most part, you wanna cook this meat with the chunkier side down. So we've made like a little wedge here in the middle because we're gonna be taking, uh, we're gonna be placing one and a half tablespoons of tomato paste. Gonna stir that bad boy in. Here comes my favorite part. We're gonna pour in the, the wine. Now with the heat being on high, one thing you need to know is the wine is gonna cook down, so definitely it's gonna come down, and that's the main aim once you put in the wine. And the wine adds in a depth of richness, flavor as well. You will not get drunk off this meal. Okay, like a lot of people think because you cook with alcohol, you're gonna get drunk. Most of the alcohol is gonna cook out, so you don't even have to worry. Right now, you're really just searching for really great flavor and depths of um, flavor as well. So right now, the heat is on high. We're gonna let the wine cook down a bit, and then we're gonna add in the rest of the things that we need. In the meantime, let's just let the magic happen. So as you guys can see, the wine has cooked down. Well, not all of it, of course. I wanna show you guys the richness of color the wine is adding. So imagine it's gonna be cooking in this color for all those hours. So of course it's gonna turn. Now at this point, we're gonna be adding in our vegetable stock or chicken stock or beef stock. We're gonna be adding this in. This is two cups. So the whole point of braising is submerging um, a meat in a liquid. So that's the whole point of braising. So as you can see, I didn't cover it all the way up. You can still see some skin. Uh, during the whole cook time, I'm gonna be turning them around and of course covering it. Now we're gonna be moving this pot onto uh, the smaller burner or alternatively, you can just turn your heat all the way to low. We're gonna be adding in our bay leaves and of course our rosemary. Now if you have time, thyme the herb, add that in, like 10 of those. I have been on the search for thyme for such a long time, and wow, that actually rhymed. Um, I have been unable to find any thyme. However, yes, those are the herbs that I have and that's what I'm adding in. Now I'm gonna turn down the heat to low and I'm just gonna cover this. I haven't added any salt or any pepper because as it cooks, um, the meat is gonna extract the salt that we seared it in and also we can adjust the salt to when we want to add in the salt. But as for right now, we're just gonna 
you know, cook this for four hours, even eight hours if you really want it completely off the bone. The longer you cook it, the more flavor gets inside the meat. And we're just gonna cook this for four hours. So I will be back then. So it's been about four hours. And it's time to serve and these bad boys look absolutely delicious. Like I mentioned to you guys, you can uh, serve this for your meal prep, serve this with some rice, with some mashed potato, because already there's a lot of sauce in here. Despite the fact that this meal is gonna take you for up to six hours, depending on how long you wanna cook it for, I just wanna say that it is worth every hour that you're gonna cook it. It is gonna turn out to be super delicious, super flavorful, and tender as well. If you decide to shred some of this beef, you can put it in a beef burger, I mean in a little bun as well, or put it in your quesadillas, whatever it is that you choose to do. All you gotta do is spend a little bit of hours though. Anyway, we've come to the end of this um, episode and I just wanna say this. This is like my prized possession. So I'm super happy to have shared this recipe with you guys. You can let me know below what you add into your short ribs or what you would like to see next. In the meantime, I'm looking forward to all the tags that you guys are gonna be hitting me up with because I know you're gonna be trying out this recipe. And if you have not subscribed yet, what you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, don't miss another throwdown ever. Until the next episode, kisses, enjoy your meal.